One per second, welcome back, Coach Tommy here. Today, to show you an exercise, it's one of the most important exercises you could ever practice. It's one of the few that you should be really, really focusing on and stop worrying about a lot of the other stuff that you see out there, okay? So, in basketball, when you're the offensive person, you can create angles on people, okay? Basketball is about change of speed, change of level, change of direction. And to utilize your technique and skill, you have to find the right angles to attack. And so as you're playing around with your defender, you're dribbling the ball, okay? You're, you're moving uh, side to side, okay? You're doing an in and out, or, or you might just be dribbling like this, okay? All you're trying to do is get your defender to shift side to side, okay? So once you find a moment in their gallop, or in their defensive slide, okay, where you can expose them. So if they're sliding and they're taking a step sideways or still moving this way, all you need to do is take your back foot back and then just explode past them. It's really that simple. So I need you to practice moving side to side, get used to moving side to side offensively. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna push off that back foot lean forward onto the front foot and take off. It's, it's really that simple. Anything in here, and then you just want to be able to explode. Okay, you got to be able to do it both ways because when you pull the ball on this side, if you shift the ball here, you got to be able to find that angle, lean forward, and then explode. Okay, it doesn't need to be far. Basketball is a very short court, 94 feet. Okay, in any sprint, the win, the winner, the first four steps. With my team, I always call it the first four. The first four, if there's a rebound that goes up, turn, take off your first four steps, just take off. Once you take off, your momentum will take you. Your, your legs will be turning over and you'll just be going, okay? So your first four steps are really the most critical. When it's even shorter, it's only really going to be your first two steps, okay? And the negative step here, okay, doesn't even really count as a step. So as you, as you move side to side and you notice that your defender is just slightly still galloping, he hasn't even put down that foot yet. Okay, if he hasn't put down that foot yet, you have that opportunity to here to drop this back leg, cut him off. Okay, I have these cones set up here. If you have a friend or something like that, watch how quickly you can expose them. Okay, this cone represents more than a, a hand length. Okay, if you can have somebody just mirror you, okay, mirror you, all you're doing is sliding side to side, and if you can blow past them, you won, that's all. Okay, so you give yourself about 10, eight feet of space. Okay, the more cushion you give that defender, the harder it will be offensively, the less cushion you give that defender, so now the cones are about a foot apart, how I would normally guard somebody, okay? If you can move, shift like this, and then all of a sudden take off, and that person can't even cut you off, if they bump into you, basically it's a foul for basketball. So you don't need a bowl to practice this guy. So have someone mirror you, you can visualize it by yourself, move side to side quickly, be light on your feet. As soon as you see a little opportunity, just explode. You don't need somebody to practice. All you need to do is refine your technique and speed up this motion here where you're in a quick skip, you're light on your feet, and then you can just explode quickly. That's really all it takes. Work on that negative step, okay? Remember to internally rotate this foot, press off of the balls of your feet, shoulders kind of lean forward, hunch forward. Once you push off of the back foot, make sure you're pushing off of your front foot. Okay, so you should get two very, very solid pushes that will propel you forward, find the right angles, play a little bit with the angles. Most often in basketball, if this were a clock, you're going to be attacking at 1 or 2, and if you're going to the left, it's going to be 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. It's really that simple. Practice these little slides and then explosion. Once you get good at that, add in in and out dribbles regular dribbles, okay, and then you would just take off anytime you, you pull or pocket that ball. 
Alright, that's all I got for you guys. If this makes sense, please 